Okay, so let's look at models four, five, and six. These all have electron pair geometry of tetrahedral, and then molecular geometry of tetrahedral, trigonal, pyramidal, and bent. So meaning we will look at the tetrahedral um, base, and then we will look at how we construct our molecular geometry from that. So let's start with the basic one and build our little structure, our little molecule from that. All right. So this is our tetrahedral structure where the electron pair geometry is equal to the molecular geometry. All right. So it's always the, well, let's say call it the easiest one. So meaning this one, all the bond angles are 109.5 and you will notice all of them are there, right? So you just use the base for the one of the four bonds, 109.5, so meaning roughly 110 degrees or whatever you would like to call it. Um, there we are. Okay, this one. Now the question is, how can you get to um, trigonal pyramidal? from this structure, from this tetrahedral structure. Um, and the answer typically is, well, you can, if you remove one bond, then, well, then you can see your trigonal pyramidal. Oh, this one is a bit skew. You see, it's a bit skew. Shame. Um, you can see you get your trigonal pyramidal. You notice that it's, if you perhaps turn it to the camera here, you notice how the bond isn't completely flat, right? It's not completely flat like we had for the trigonal planar. It's standing up a bit. Or maybe if I hold it like that, you'd notice that it is, it's like a spider leg. It's kind of like that. It's not completely flat like this one. I don't know exactly if you can see it, but you can notice um, that's what trigonal pyramidal is. It's kind of forming a pyramid. Right, it's going into the page or into the plane here, whereas this one is completely flat, uh, which was, of course, model two. Okay, so if you remove this one, you'll notice that this one isn't completely flat. Um, so this is now model five, and you get that if you add there then a lone pair. If you've now added a lone pair there, you'll notice that you get the trigonal pyramidal structure. And if you remove a further bond and add another lone pair, so meaning you have two lone pairs, kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse, then you get the bent, or angular, or angular, sometimes called angular, you get the bent structure. So meaning we revert back to what... Um, so the bent structure, where this angle is probably going to be less than 109.5 um, degrees. And this time we have two lone pairs. All right. So what we, would we would like you to do, we want you to build the kind of parent structure. Oh, I'm losing. I've lost the terminal atom there. We want you to build the terminal atom or the terminal structure. Then you take another one. So let's quickly build that. Hoops, hoops, hoops and hoops. Um, all right. And remember, you remove one of them and you get, you add a lone pair, then you get the trigonal pyramidal. And then finally, you build another one. So this is this one of the one lone pairs, model five. And then you build model six, where you add the two lone pairs, which is, of course, the bent or angular one. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. That's not a technical term. You're not allowed to write Mickey Mouse. Um, and then you have that. All right. So those are your three structures for the tetrahedral electron pair geometry with molecular geometries, tetrahedral, trigonal pyramidal, and bent. Okay. So do you notice... Hopefully you notice that. And if you still have enough 
of the um, terminal atoms, then you can fill all these bonds. All right. Cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the little videos. Uh, I enjoy making them. All right. I'll see you in the next one.